Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another video. We have another big old Timu haul today, and um, we have a lot to get into, so I'm just going to get going, um, as always. But we've got makeup, eyeshadow palettes that I think are dupes. We're going to find out. But I'm going to get to them in just a minute. I'm going to get a couple of other things out of the way first. Y'all, if you like my videos and my content, please like and subscribe. As soon as I get to a 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a huge giveaway. My giveaway drawer is so full, again, that I can barely close it. Open it and close it. <laughs> it's getting a little crazy in there. So, I need to get to 1,000 subscribers so I can give all this stuff away. And my hair is looking a bit odd up here. I don't know what it's doing. It, it started, this bun started off on top of my head and it has slowly worked its way back. I think it's trying to just slide all the way down, but we're just gonna work with it. Okay, guys, first thing we have here is the cutest little blouse. And so it's like kind of cinched right here and the bottom's kind of like a little skirt. You know what I mean? It's cute and I like it because it's very long. It'll go over the booty and, um. One thing to note, it is that material that we don't like, but like I've said before, I always have on um, a tank top, a coordinating cotton tank top under my shirts because I like a lot of coverage, y'all. I seriously do not like a lot of skin showing my arms and the, the, the lower half of my calves are about all I show. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, this will work out just fine with, a, with a, um, a tank top under it, a cotton tank under it. So, that's going to be cute for summer. And here in North Carolina, summer goes on for like eight months out of the year. It's crazy. Okay, um, where's my little cutter? Y'all, I've got my little cloud cutter from the last haul. We're going to get right in here. Let's see. Let's see here. I hope so anyway. Okay, I don't like to waste too much time opening stuff. Let's get it out of this sleeve. I'm just going to tear it up because why not? It, the box is still intact. Okay. Oh, yeah. Once you take that sleeve off, the box opens right up. Guys, I've ordered earphones from Timu before, but they fit too loosely on my head. And it's like they're constantly just sliding around. And they like when I'm lying in bed, which is usually late at night when I can't sleep, when I have insomnia, which I've always suffered from or have for years, um, I like to watch YouTube videos in bed or, or shop on Timu or Amazon, one or the other. <laughs> anyway, but when I'm watching um, videos in bed, yeah, I like to have my earphones on and I don't want them, you know, all over the place. So, um, I'm hoping these are more snug. Yeah, I can already tell these are going to fit better and they are going to cut out um, outside noises better. Yeah, I like these. And let's see. The cover, is, well, it just says Fashion Boutique Wireless. It doesn't really have a brand. Let's see what's in here. Oh, and there's a charging cord to go with them. So, yeah, looking forward to using those. <laughs> like, let's see what we can move on to next. Let me get you guys tucked back in and out of the way. Okay. Um... Over here, too. I'm trying to keep stuff I've already opened out of the way. Okay, um, this is sort of makeup related. Um, let's just get this open. Y'all, I ordered just an ordinary little pump because my Holy Grail foundation, or it was until I tried this foundation I'm wearing today from Timu, um, but my Holy Grail foundations are from the um drugstore. And um, one of them, after all these years, they still don't have a pump on it. So, yeah. And this is a pump that that promises to fit anything. It's a universal one. So, yeah, any foundation that you need a pump for, I mean, this is less than a dollar, I'm pretty sure, on Timu. It's like 70, 80 cents, maybe less. I'll be attaching my, or linking my order below the video. So, um, you can order anything if you're interested in it. But, yeah. I'm loving having one of these, and these are a lot more expensive on Amazon, I'll tell you that right now. I was looking at them on Amazon, and then went to Timu, and found them so much cheaper, and you know it's the same exact one. We well, you know it's the same thing. Okay, now, I've got, y'all know I have a brush problem. <laughs> I'm like Heather Otis, I have a major brush brush problem. Anyway, I ordered these two sets, and it's, they're supposed to be eye brushes, but I think the one 
this one and both of them is more of a highlight brush, although you could use it in your crease if you have larger eyes or deep set eyes and you need a big fluffy brush. But it looks like these two are definitely eye brushes, but these are going in the giveaway. These are going in my giveaway drawer because I have enough brushes. I don't know why I keep ordering them. Okay, and um, what else was I gonna show? Oh, this is another makeup related thing before we start getting into makeup. Um, I'm liking this little cutter. It actually works better than scissors. So I think, I don't wanna jinx myself and I probably am, but yeah. Okay, this, ooh, does it come already put together? Yay, I was scared I was gonna have to put this together. Let's see, how does this work? How does this work? Uh, this is supposed to be shelving. Somehow, shelving. Okay, maybe I don't know how it works. I'm very confused. Okay, does this come out? Oh, okay, wait a minute. Is this how it sits? Is it like an easel? And it says, no. Guys, I'm not sure how this sets up. Oh, okay. I think the bottom shelf fits inside. That's how it sets up. So then it sits like a little easel. But I bought this for the top of this little um, chimney cover thing that my husband made me years ago, probably 10 years ago now, to hold all my makeup and miscellaneous, you know, beauty crap. And um, yeah, I just need some more space for um, other palettes and things. And so, well, wait a minute. That, that made this one go down. Y'all, I'm not sure what's going on here. Let me just see real quick if I can get this going. Yes, this fits over this bar, and then the bar goes down and fits over this shelf, and this shelf kind of locks it in place with a little lip. Oh, I totally see now. That totally makes sense. But yeah, I need these extra two little shelves for um extra makeup palettes and just different things little containers that's really cute and it's actually pretty well made and i love the fact that it came already put together and all you have to do is set it up that's a winner hey Bobo, what are you doing mama i forgot to bring your other blankie in here so you could lie down and watch me i'm sorry i'm sorry um but i won't be long okay <laughs> okay guys i was just talking to my little baby i think he's gonna start fussing here in the background because he doesn't have his blankie Okay, now we're getting into makeup. And then I'm gonna, if you're still here at the end, we're gonna get in, show a couple of things that I bought or my husband wanted me to buy. So I did. Even though he has his own team account, but sometimes he'll just tell me something he wants. Let's see, can we get this open without totally tearing it up? Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, does it have a mirror? Oh, it's broken. It came with a broken mirror. See there? Oh, I hate that. But I think this is indeed a dupe. Okay, y'all, look at these colors. Oh, hold on. This is the plastic that goes over the colors. I'm just going to take this off right quick. Look at there. Aren't they beautiful? Let's see if they match what I think they're duping. Let me get my phone. Because I can't afford Inslee Rain. But... Essentially, there is a um, an indie brand, which means independently owned makeup brand, which means they do all their production on their own. Some people, some indie brand owners, um, like have their garage set up as like a production facility. I don't know how large Inslee Rain has gotten, but it's not an American indie brand. I think it might be out of Australia. I'm not positive. But anyway, this looks exactly the same as Inslee Rain. Now, let me show you. It's an $88 palette. Can you see that at the bottom? Yeah. And they pretty much duped the color story, I think. Let's see. Let me get this open and compare it. Yep, it looks like essentially the same color story. Maybe with the shadows rearranged just a little bit. But yeah, a bunch of similar colors are in here. And it's not all matte. It's got some beautiful shimmers. Now, I'm sure they're not going to be as pretty as indie brand uh, shimmers. 
but that's a pretty palette. So it's not an exact dupe, but I think it's similar enough. And I don't know if Timu could get in trouble for using Inly Rain's artwork or what. I mean, I guess they may have changed it just enough, but not really. <laughs> They're pretty much copying it straight on. Okay, so I'm going to contact them about that broken mirror and they'll probably just refund me and then I'm, I'm not going to reorder it. That if, it, if the mirror wasn't broken, I would actually put that in a giveaway. But since it is, I guess I'm keeping it. Um, but that was initially my um, my plan was to put that in a giveaway. All right, let's get this bubble wrap off here. And we have another Inslee Rain copy. Let me show you. Let me get my picture up. Okay. This is an $83 Inslee Rain. It's called Twisted Tea Party Palette. $83.33. And this is, see there, see the cat? This is exactly the same. Let's look at the color story. Well, let's put this back up here. It went away on me. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Let's look at the color story. Now, obviously, their pans, the Inslee Rain pans are round, but yeah, the colors are real, well, somewhat rearranged, not completely, but yeah, they both got a solid black. They both got varying shades of blue and seafoam, yellow. Yeah, I think this is Timu's attempt to dupe Inslee Rain. And if it does work the same way, if the formula is similar, what a deal. Because Isley Rain, as you can see, is very pricey. Let me put the plastic back over this. And since this one isn't broken, it's going to go back. And um, it didn't have a box. It just had this plastic wrapping. But I'll put it back in there, and that's going in a giveaway. So, yeah, Timu is on point with, these, um, with this art that they keep stealing. Okay, guys. Next, let's see, what did, what did I think this was? Where's my little cutter? Here it is. Y'all, this is crazy. I don't know how they get away with doing that. Although, who's going to take on a big Chinese company? Although, I think it's based out of America. I guess you actually could find somebody to complain to if you were the owner of one of these brands and kind of offended that you're, they're copying you dead on, your artwork anyway. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, this one is indeed in a sleeve. Nice. And it's called Hero Orange. Hero Orange. <laughs> it just looks like they're combining Hero and Orange. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is not a dupe, but this is very similar to, um, not Natasha Denona. Let me find it. I have a picture right here. Danessa Myricks. This is... The way these colors are set up in here, this very much reminds me of Danessa Myers, and this is quite beautiful. This is a neutral palette with a pop of blue, a pop of green. That really is beautiful. It's going in a giveaway, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that is a beautiful everyday palette. Let's see here. Oh, let's see if I can find it. I know I have a picture of this one somewhere. Somewhere, I took one. Here we go. See, it's not a dupe, but it's similar. See, um, Danessa Myricks likes to put like two colors in a pan, two colors that go together in a pan. And that's kind of how this one is set up, see? She's got coordinating colors together, so it makes it easy to do a look. And then she's got some darker shades underneath and some lighter shades above that you can use like for some under the brow highlighting or some um, like if you want to use a darker color as a liner and like with a little thin liner brush and wing it out. Her palettes are nice, but they're very pricey. This is Light Work 5 and it's $125. <laughs> So, yeah, if this one it works well and is pigmented, this is a nice, similar palette. The colors are extremely similar. The pink and purple, the browns, the greens, or like the seafoam. Yeah, that's pretty. 
That's really pretty. Guys, this video is not going to be as long as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be seriously long. Now, this is the packaging, the, the padded packaging this came in. The little Inslee Rain Cat dupe. All right, we're going to put you back in here so you'll be safe for a giveaway until you get boxed up. Yeah, so this one, the, the Danessa Myricks similar palette, that's going into a, a giveaway as well. Y'all, I have so many eyeshadow. I just realized the other night, I have um an Urban Decay palette that I ordered during some Sephora sale a while back, and I still haven't opened it. It's still in the box. I haven't even swashed it yet. So, yeah, I have so much makeup to get through. I'm just not going to... I'm just not gonna keep all these, I can't. I would never get them used up. Okay, next here is another thing that I think is similar, if not a dupe. Guys, I'm trying to stay calm so my blood pressure won't come up and make me sweat all my makeup off. Because <laughs> that happens every time. Although, y'all, I'm um, speed reviews are coming this week. Like the week starting with tomorrow. Today's Saturday, tomorrow Sunday. Friday of this coming week, I think is the day I'm going to have speed reviews up. Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, somewhere around in there, I'm going to have, I've got, I'm getting all my stuff together. I've got my thoughts. I'm going to write down a few notes and then, yeah, I'm just going to run through all of it and tell you and either trash it or keep it and tell you why, <laughs> tell you why I'm keeping it. But this is a black liquid liner and see it's pink and it's got black print on it. And then you take the lid off. Oh, that brush is a little deformed. Yeah, that brush is slightly deformed. It'll probably still work though. And since I touched it, I guess I'm keeping it, even though I don't use that much um, black liner, liquid liner anymore. Um, my, I've got so much like crepey skin around my eyes at, at my advanced age that um, when I put on like a wing, it, it like it, it wrinkles up. It doesn't look like a real wing. I can't explain. But anyway, this is the um, Too Faced Better Than, we'll say banging, Better Than Bangin' um, liquid liner in black. And yeah, I think this looks really, whoa, I'm holding it up too high, really similar. Anyway, I wish they would show the lid. It's just a little pink plain lid that they have on the end of it. But yeah, I think that's what they're trying to do. Okay, I just wish the little tip wasn't deformed. Maybe I'll contact um, them about that too. Maybe they'll, I don't know, if they'll refund me, I might try to order another one and see if it, the tip's a little better. Because when you have a little deformed tip like that, it starts flipping around on you and you don't get a clean line. But I'll work with it. You know me, I'm game to try anything, anything. <laughs> In fact, today I tried a... um. And I have got the worst baked bean teeth. And I just recently had a dentist appointment. But I think I'm going to change dentist because my dentist, the, the guy who cleans is not aggressive enough. And I don't think he really gets them clean. They, I don't think they should be this color. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. I said all that to say that, yeah, I picked out a different lip color this morning. Um, I was watching a video. Uh, does anybody watch Jessica Braun? She doesn't haul Timu. She started off as just a general makeup guru years and years ago. She's probably been on um, YouTube 10 or 12 years now. And um, now she does, like, family vlogs and stuff because she's got a husband and a couple of kids. And um, But anyway, she, in one video recently, she recommended this lip liner I'm wearing. I ran to my makeup drawers, my lip product drawers to see if I had this liner and I indeed did so I decided to try it and um I tried it on the day where it doesn't really match my eye makeup like everything on my face is warm and then this is like a cool pink <laughs> but like I said I'm game to try anything if I don't match so be it it all washes off in the end it's not like we're tattooing makeup on our faces okay guys we're gonna um get out of makeup now and move on to what my husband wanted. This won't take long to show. This is just um, a personal, like, nose hair, beard, mustache trimmer. I didn't wear any makeup because I thought maybe I might be hauling some. But I don't think I have any. <laughs> I don't have any jewelry on. But, um, Yeah, that's just a mustache trimmer, nose hair trimmer. We all know what those look like. I'm sure every one of us that has a man in our life lives have seen one of those okay 
And this is um, this is kind of a cool thing he wanted me to order. He's into hiking. In fact, he's hiking um, 10 miles at Hanging Rock. That's a pretty famous um, mountain um, here in North Carolina that a lot of people hike on. Um, you can go all the way to the top of it, and it's a beautiful view. I've done it before, but it's been years. But um, this is a monocular. So it's like a binocular, but it's just for one eye. And I'm just tearing his packaging up. But anyway, yeah, you... Oh, there's a cap on it. And you... Oh, there's a cap on both ends of it. And they're not attached, clearly. I don't even know how to get this one off. But you just look in it, and you can see... You know, you can twist it around and, you know, adjust it. And you can, like, see birds or whatever you're looking for. But I think most people bird watch with these, don't they? Um, let me get the lid up and put it back on the um, eye part. But yeah, this is a cool little thing for people who enjoy being outside, camping, hiking. Oh, and it's also got a little piece that you can attach to go around your arm so you can carry it that way around your wrist, even though it's a little bit heavy. But yeah, this is a nice item. I can tell by the weight, this is gonna be nice for him. Okay, and I got one last thing for him. He's the cook in this household. I told y'all a long time ago that um, once my kids were grown, I sort of retired, at least semi-retired from cooking, unless it's just something I'm dying to make. But this is um a sausage stuffer. Somehow, I guess you take off this, you attach one of these tubes that come in varying sizes, I guess for the size casing that you have, and, that, um, and then you just put what you want to stuff in your sausage in here, and then just, you know, Kind of like, you know, a cake icing thing almost, sort of similar. But yeah, he loves to cook and he has lots of crazy cooking utensils and equipment and this will just add to the pile. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys today and we made it in under 30 minutes. I thought today we were gonna be a little bit longer than that because of the makeup dupes. But yeah, we made it guys. And yeah, like I said, I don't mean to be naggy, but if you guys would please um, like, share, recommend my videos, I'm desperate get, to get to a thousand um, subscribers so I can unload a bunch of this stuff <laughs> that's taking up space in my house, in my room, in my dresser. Okay, guys, um, thanks so much for joining me. I always appreciate you. Um, yeah, I always appreciate you, anybody who watches. I mean, that's just a serious gift. Just watching is a serious gift. But anyway, I thanks so much, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.